Hello everyone, Fiorim here, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to do a quick tips and tricks video on a topic that I see a lot of questions both on Reddit and the Discord channel. And the question is, how to optimally distribute the ingredients to a number of machines? Say, you have a coal deposit that produces 120 coal per minute and you want to distribute it to coal generators that use 15 per minute. Simple calculation reveals that you can supply 8 coal generators, but how do you actually get the ingredients to those? The two alternatives are manifold and load balancer. In this video I will demonstrate how the manifold is usually the preferred method and how to build it fast and easy. So let's look at the manifold first then. This is how you would build it for our example. You start with lining up your generators in this case. Then you draw a conveyor belt next to the inputs and finally split the belt for each generator. Actually there's an even better way to build it, but more on that later. The load balancer on the other hand distributes the raw materials equally before feeding them to the machines. Again you line up your machines, but this time each machine has its own conveyor belt to bring in ingredients. You then work your way up, 8 belts come from splitting 4, 4 come from, from splitting 2 and finally 2 comes from splitting 1. The good thing about load balancer is that it makes sure all machines get the same number of ingredients from the get-go. The bad thing is that it's tricky to build and can really only be built for multiplications of 2s and 3s, because of how splitters either split to 2 or 3. So a balancer for 6, which is 2 times 3, machines is possible, but for 7 it isn't. Manifold on the other hand will distribute 50% of the items to the first machine and it will continue with 50% further down. This means that the last elements down the line will get very few items to begin with, as it's halved at each machine. However, that only continues until the machines start getting saturated with ingredients. As the coal generator number 1 gets full, it starts to only accept its normal burn rate, which is 15 per minute. That leaves 105 per minute in our example further down the line. And once the second generator is saturated, it also accepts only 15 per minute, etc. Given enough time, all the generators will be full and will receive their equal share. So, because both methods eventually distribute the materials evenly, the manifold is usually enough. It is also far more simple to build than load balancer. Load balancers are only needed if it's important that balancing happens right away, not after the inputs are saturated. For instance, if there are a lot of machines taking slow to produce inputs, where it could take long time for the last machine to receive inputs. Okay, let's take a look at some of, in my opinion, good ways to build manifolds then. We'll start with the simple machine that only takes one input. And at least I used to, in the previous days, build manifolds so that I just bring a conveyor belt near the machines, then I draw it on a line next to it, and then I put splitters on the belt at each input. This is fairly easy with your uh, hoverback, I mean you can just see those lines and align the uh, splitters pretty easily this way. So nothing wrong with doing this, however I actually, in these, these days I actually prefer doing uh, this a bit other way, because you can actually enter the splitters input or put the splitters down first, like so. You just need to make sure that the uh, input arrows are pointing in the correct direction here. And then you can just draw the conveyor belt to the first splitter and then just from the splitters to the next splitter and to the machines. This is uh, it results in pretty much the same stuff, if, especially if we take away the last part of our conveyor belt. Same stuff as, as on the right, but I think it's easier to build and it's, it guarantees that everything is aligned to the inputs perfectly if you are OCD like I am. So that's the simple one input. Uh, alternative. But what about if we have several inputs, like here we have an assembler with two inputs? Well, there's nothing we can do about the... Uh, well, let's put it this way. The first input will still do exactly the same as before. We put a splitter down the correct way. And just enter our belts as previously. However, the next one, we could of course draw belts here, 
I mean, there's nothing that prevents it. You can now clip things through other things, but that doesn't really look pretty at all. So I strongly advise, advise against that. What I really normally want to do is to put lifts instead, so that this other input is on a different layer. And now there's several ways how to uh, get actually the inputs to this layer. Previous way that I used to do was to put these stack stackable conveyor poles up. Here you can draw a line again, similarly as we did on the ground level. Can you draw your belt up here and put your splitters down. And then finally connect the splitters to your inputs. This is a perfectly fine way, however this takes some sp space and actually consumes some, some spells that actually are not needed because at least for me this was something that I discovered very recently. You can actually, when you have a lift down like this, you can actually in or you can attach a splitter directly to that belt or that lift, like so. And this way you can now, let's put this uh, ground level splitters as well. This way you can now pretty easily just draw the belt up here and connect the splitters directly. So what you don't have with this setup is you don't have these stackable conveyor poles. You also don't need this extra belt connecting the splitter to the lift because the splitter is directly on the lift. And then obviously we do with the ground level we do exactly as we did before. like so. So that is a manifold done for an assembler that has two inputs. And obviously we can uh, then further go down the route and do this with a manufacturer that has four inputs. So we first place the lift down with a bit of an offset at each of them. We don't need a lift for the first one. I like to use an offset of two for the middle one and then four for the next one. This makes them align perfectly with these conveyor poles. It doesn't may actually make them align perfectly if we attach a splitter to them, but they, they align pretty well still. Um, or actually they might align, but they have some clipping issues that, uh, that might be an issue, as you will see later. So let's put the splitters down here now, again making sure that the input arrows are pointing to the correct direction. And the ground level. Like that. And then we can pretty much just connect the belts. And let's put the ground level first because it's easier than the other ones are not on the way. And the second layer goes to the first splitters. Again, you don't need to uh, worry about any uh, connection from the splitter to the lift. It is handled automatically by this setup. And the second layer goes like this in the middle. Or actually the third layer and the fourth layer goes up here. Like so. The only issue with this is that you can see that this belt is now clipping a bit through the uh, splitter. Which might bother some, it actually bothers me a bit as well, so I might increase this uh, height of this lift by one more and the last one by two more. This of course makes it a bit taller but it won't clip anymore. Anyway, I think this is a very nice and compact way to do uh, manifolds for uh, assemblers and manufacturers and other machines that take more than one input, so I think it's definitely worth trying out something that has saved me a lot of time with my big bills lately when I discovered it. So 
Hope you also enjoy it. So that's all for this video. I hope you have learned something new today. I know at least I did earlier this week when I figured this out. Stay tuned for the next episode in the Mega Factory series which will be released very soon. Don't also forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you like this content. It really helps. See you soon.